Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we took some reconnaissance photos, I think. I don't exactly remember. Um, guess what this episode is, guys? Post-commentary is your weekly dose of post-commentary. I think I've had one, like, once per week, every, like, recently, or... Well, it's your, it's your dose of post-commentary... Sly 2. Isn't that good? <laughs> with your reg with your regular Sly 2 co commentation. <laughs> Red Shine Amigo here. Yes, yes, we have Red Shine Amigo here with us. Um actually this episode's a bit different than most of post the post commentary episodes I do. Because this episode's only half post commentary. Isn't that awkward? Um <laughs> yes. awkward baby. <laughs> Awkward baby. Yes, that's a that's a personal inside joke between like us and Trick Streak and Monk. <laughs> uh, Awkward baby. Yeah. The wonders of Awkward baby. <laughs> Well, actually, it wasn't awkward, baby. You should be something else. But I think then I you to... said awkward, baby instead. I think I just said awkward, and then like it eventually evolved That's into awkward, I've baby. I don't know. Collector to transport the overflow. Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo. I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Wow, sounds easy. Not really. That mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical Oh, challenge. here we have our next mission. This mission sucks. Um, <laughs> I suck hard at this mission. It sucks hard at being easy. It <laughs> what we have to do is we get to play as Bentley. And usually Bentley Turtle Boy is he's normally weak and flimsy. I like turtles. <laughs> yes. I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. But Bentley is usually weak and flimsy, but here here he is weak and flimsy to the max. With the mojo thing on his back. He can't get hit once or else we explode. So that sucks. Oh God. But what makes this easy is, instead of punching everyone, we get to press buttons and kill them with death traps. Which, that's always fun. Wow. And, this this one might go on for a while. I'm, I, I try to be super cool and try to get two guys on the platform at once every time I crush them. But, it doesn't work out like that for a while, guys. <laughs> I'm really bad at this mission and it's depressing. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Well, uh, I think in this episode I practiced about like two billion times um, on this one. <laughs> so I better be perfect in the end. No, you are perfect. There I died. <laughs> I am really hyper right now. I had some sweet tea and it is driving me off the wing doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Was the tea sweet? Mm. I think it was some sweet tea. It was brown and clear, as usual. It was brown and clear. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, if something is brown, it doesn't always have to be non-clear. Which I can't remember the no. word, but... Solid. <laughs> but yes. As I was also, as I was saying at the beginning of the episode, since this is a uh, half post commentary episode, Radish and Amigo will only be here with us for half the episode. Sad face. Um. <laughs> Happy face. I mean, sad face. But yes, that will be sad when he has to leave at the like maybe halfway through this entire episode. But don't be surprised when I start talking in normal, like, like live commentary mode and he's not here. <laughs> he's just sitting behind listening, I mean. <laughs> oh, I thought I... I like how you said normal commentary. <laughs> normal commentary. <laughs> I don't do post commentary all the time, though, so it's kind of different. <laughs> so basically we're doing abnormal commentary. <laughs> doing abnormal commentary. Gosh, knock, knock. Smee-smee. 
Ah, oh, this level is so annoying. I'm playing Crush Bandicoot 2 and there's these like electric guys and they keep electrocuting me with their zappy pointy and What level are you on? Things. I might I might remember it. It's the last one. Oh the very last one. Sadly I don't remember yeah. it. <laughs> oh okay. It's called spacing out. Ah, uh, maybe I've played it, I can't remember. Ah, uh, I think this okay. is the one I fail on a bunch actually. It's got a lot of fun traps though. And I was really stupid, and I hit the failsafe trap as the first one. That one's in case the guys get past the uh, the first part of the room, and then you can just all kill them at once. But no, I had to hit it first, because I'm smart like that. There we go, though. We got three and one. Oh, yeah. No! I died. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> oh yeah, no! <laughs> oh, I died. Uh. If this was a live commentary, I probably would have screamed there. Actually, I would. I would. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I actually probably would have said something really sarcastic. I would have pulled a Glados. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I always get confused on who's who in that game. Like, because I haven't, like, got, um, Pump Portal 2. So I always get confused on who's who. Huh. I need to turn up my, uh, my sound. I can't hear you very much. There we go. Okay. I turned it up. Okay, cool. Oh, by the way, I wasn't recording the whole time. Oh, you weren't? <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you messing with me again? <laughs> you do this every time! Every time! <laughs> Don't you just love me? Yes, I do. Most certainly. Well, since I'll be here killing things for a while, why don't we sit down and tell a story? <laughs> Once upon a time, the end. <laughs> Once upon a time, the end. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, this is a pretty funny idea. Have you ever heard of a second person video game? <laughs> Me and my friends at school, we were talking about like first and third person video games, and then like we started talking about second person video games and how they would be really weird. Like you play as a completely different person that isn't the main character, and like you tell them what they're doing. Like you are jumping onto a piece of rock. You are now fighting an enemy. You fought the enemy. You lost. <laughs> It sounds kind of like a, um, a, um, a strategy game to me. Maybe. I've never really played one at all. Um, I've never heard of a second person game. If anyone in the comments knows of a second person video game, please enlighten me. Um, How about a 1D game? 2D, 3D. About 1D. 1D? That's a dot. <laughs> That's not much of a game. Well, I don't know. But 1D is just like one point in space, isn't it? Then 2D's flat, and 3D's a cube. A fourth dimension, however, is time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, what I don't get is, though, um, on uh, movies, you get 3D movies, but, like, like they are not long. You don't wear your 3D glasses, so they're just, like... They basically, like, look 3D, kind of like, you know, in video games. Mm -hmm. And, um... And then the two D movies are like basically like anime ones. Yeah. Like in weather. And then after you got no. Oh um, my god, <laughs> that's really random. <laughs> um, and then you got uh the. the right, I'm gonna stand still while playing this game so I can speak. Um, and then you got um your games with the okay vi vi films where you need 3D glasses. Why are they called 3D films if there's already such thing as a 3D film? I don't know. <laughs> I think I went to I, I think I went to see like a 4D movie once. 4D. That's time. 
but really, in the movie theater, apparently 4D's physical pain. Because in the middle of this movie, whenever like the characters would like splash in water or clap their hands, you felt wind rush Whoa! by you. <laughs> but anyway, like you would feel wind rush by your face or have water splashed on you. And for this one, oh, yeah. like the person like these little things would bite you or something, and the chair would stab you in the back. And I, so the fourth dimension is not time in the movie realm, apparently. It's physical pain. I, I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, I think I've seen a 4D movie. It was one of the Lego movies in Legoland. Mmm. I've never been to Legoland. Alright. Well, it's a good place to go there. Ah. Now, <laughs> pack your bags and go now. Oh, uh, okay, guys. I'm gonna have to end the episode off here. I'm going to Legoland, apparently. Um. <laughs> ah, Bentley, kill those things. Why am I so bad at this game? <laughs> like half the time. I'm awesome sometimes, but missions like these kick my butt, and it's not fair. <laughs> Stop fan, give me a chance. <laughs> really gross sniffle. I'm sorry any viewers that uh, don't like my sniffles. It's really weird here. Better like him. <laughs> that sounds weird. Oh, what? <laughs> I said you better like him. You know, like, it finally got cold here and turned fall. And I'm somehow... Um, when it's cold, it's cold. Yes, when it's cold, it's cold. But, like, when it turned cold, I I actually, like, started getting sniffles. And I'm like, what? I love cold weather. I get to wear really cool jackets and hats. And then, like, and I get to wear my hair out long, and it's cool looking. And I'm the artsiest, coolest kid in the school, because I'm all like, look at me in my very fancy jacket. And then everybody else, else is like, no! Yes, everyone else is like, no! <laughs> <laughs> They're more like, your jacket looks like a rug, Oswald. Why are you wearing it? And I'm all like, because it makes me look cool. Yeah. I listen to smooth jazz. <laughs> I love jazz. There was this moment in time where I really liked smooth jazz, and then like, like I want I listened to like two songs of smooth jazz, then gave up for a bit. I mean, you can only have so much smooth jazz at once, or else it gets too smooth. Yeah, I see what you mean there. You make a very good point. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how many more minutes are left on this episode. It's probably seconds, or about a minute or two, maybe. I don't know. But I like Toros. I'm just checking the time here. Stab that werewolf! Kill it! Yes! Stab him with swords! Well, they're not being nice either. They're running at my face and killing me over and over and over again. <laughs> uh. See, that was almost like live commentary. That's it, how I act when it's live commentary sometimes. Maybe you not. You fail. Really. <laughs> oh, yes, job failed. Oh, and the, oh no. <laughs> well, the clip. Play again, go to library. Pre Let's play just play list. this again. No. Um, okay. Well, I will see you guys in the next half of the episode. Af like, after, uh, I will do that part of the mission off screen, and I'm, I will see you in the next in the next part of the episode. Sadly, Radishan Amigo won't be here, but uh, no. see you then. See you guys next time on my Crash LPs. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. And for Radishan Amigo, wave him goodbye, even though you can't see him. Bye. I'm waving on the inside. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm back. Um, I just finished the first, no, second thing, and you messed a, you guys missed a little cutscene, I'm sorry I couldn't pause it and show you, but it was mainly just him being all like, I got the item, I was able to, uh, attain enough bad mojo stuff, yay, let's go to the next one, and, uh, actually, probably the last entire section of this was post-commentary, because my computer crashed again.
Ugh, my gosh. Totally makes me angry, and I'm, I'm considering buying a new computer, because I, um, I think his name's Mr. Seth Godsource. He actually gave me a really good suggestion. It was change the, uh, change how the battery works. And, one second. Is it even on like that? One, one little doodle. -doo. Let's see if I changed it. I remember changing it, but, uh, maybe it changed back. I don't know. But, uh, he actually suggested that I change my battery from high performance to, like, power saver. Which, I don't know how... I mean, I could see how that would work. I mean, you're chugging less. You're chugging less energy. And, it's on power saver. <laughs> Are you BSing me, computer? Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, I put it on a lower setting on power saver. Hopefully, like, the lower like brightness on my computer monitor will help it out or something what do these do fire that one works um ooh, that one's fun and uh this one i suppose is smashing as well okay and what's this big middly one do that one looks intimidating oh it poisons everybody everybody's dead now no they're asleep that's not dead how do i smash you i can tell <laughs> my gosh Okay, but yeah, I'm really considering buying a new computer because I actually don't run a 64-bit uh, computer. It's like a 32, which um, actually can't process as much energy. Not energy, can't like process as much data, which I found out. Which, that sucks. Um, if it can't process as much data, it's harder for it to, uh, to work in general. And that's not good, right? I mean, we want it to work the best we can. So, we're going to f look up a new computer, 64-bit, raise some money, because, and maybe I'd be able to actually record in a better quality, too, at that time. Because right now I can only record on the good setting, which good setting's actually pretty good. I like how it looks. But think if I could record on better and best. What would that, that would look like, what, HD? I don't know. Wouldn't that be exciting? I mean, HD Oswald. <laughs> that is the future of my let's play maybe I don't know maybe one day we'll well I'll have the most amazing computer in the world and it will be HD Oswald time and it'll be really fun maybe if it works out oh I only got one okay at least it's smashing guys on the side too but uh wake up I guess kick your butt oh I can put bombs down why didn't I do this in the first place am I stupid okay Come here. But yeah, maybe in the future we'll have HD Oswald. I don't know. I've decided that um, these fights in the crypt, if I don't like immediately succeed at them, I'm only going to show like five minutes of them. Or uh, like five minutes of each until I like kill everyone. <laughs> Unless like I get it in three minutes, which is really nice. That's good. Actually, I did a cute little trick here because I'm part of me thinks my uh, my computer actually isn't crashing because of too much memory because I've checked, and even though it's running a lot of stuff, it might not be crashing because it doesn't have enough RAM. It actually might be crashing because it's overheating. So I stuck a shoe underneath my laptop and elevated it, so now it can breathe. And uh, actually, it's not as hot as it was before. So if this turns out really nice, I'll be I'll be a big smiley face in the sky because um. That would be sweet, if it didn't crash all the time. Uh. But you know what, we'll deal with it. And who knows, maybe the last, uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> maybe the last, uh, maybe the last section, or like the last part of this episode, the first two, um, crypts, maybe that was like the best post-commentary you had ever heard ever. Who knows? I sure don't because I haven't recorded it yet. But, um, maybe I will in the future. Maybe I'll make it really entertaining and talk about weird stuff, like I talked about cheese earlier. Oh, I made it. I didn't know there was a secret down- That's cool! I forgot about that. But yeah, maybe maybe there will be some really cool post-commentary. Who knows? But yeah, we'll see what I can do to get my computer to work better. And if not, I'm buying a new one. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna save up, because... I don't know, I really enjoy Let's Play. It is fun for me, and I look forward to it, like, all the time. But I can't look forward to it if it crashes. Ugh, it makes me want to hurt my face. Not really. Um, I have never had really the urge. I don't really have the urge to hurt my face on a daily basis. I actually feel pretty good. But, um, dang, I am messing up hardcore here. 
Ugh. But yeah, like, I don't really have the urge to hurt my face, but, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe, maybe the future of Oswald Let's Playing won't be as, uh, super crashy. So I'll stop talking about that. I'll stop complaining, which I'm not really complaining. I am providing a reasonable argument. Not really an argument. It's a big, it's a rant. Rants are fun to listen to, right? I don't know. Oh, you crap bag. You sack of poop. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, if I'm just really broke and I do this well, wow. Um, until they start bringing like, everybody out at the same time, I'm fine. That's cool. Touché. I don't know what that means. Um, I should look it up on Wikipedia or um, the internet. Those, that's a nice place. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I love the internet. I put my videos up on it. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that actually does make a lot of sense. I do put my videos up on the internet. You guys watch them on the internet. I should make a song called On the Internet. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it would be my new hit single. Maybe I'm actually a famous pop star and you guys don't know it. Wouldn't that be cool? Secret life. I have a secret life that none of you guys know about. And it involves me being a pop star, somehow. I'm like, I don't know. What would I be? I'm like, I don't know what pop star I would be like. What do you guys think I would be like if I was a pop star? Oh gosh, I'm totally gonna screw this up last minute. Ooh, I did it! Wow, okay. Wow. I'm feeling the bottom of my computer and it actually, uh... Doesn't feel as spicy as it usually is. Hmm. That's cool. I'm done ranting now. Wow, I, I told you I was done ranting like minutes ago. And I'm still going on about it. <laughs> Get over it, self. Ugh. <laughs> Crazy me. I'm such a nut job. No, I'm not crazy. Okay. Well, I think, uh... I think I'm in a better mood now. So I was actually considering stopping recording for the night. But you know what? I think I'm in, the better, in a better mood. So, I think I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Slide 2, Band of Thieves. Bye, guys.